Viva Libertad, Dani. Hell of a fireworks show. I have to give you credit, Clara. You fucking did it. We did it, Dani. That was the difference. What's your plan when you reach America? Me and my friend Alejo were going to work shit jobs. Until we could scrape up some money, open a body shop. If the Yankee blockade taught us anything, it's how to keep things running when you got nothing. That's the dream? Sure, Yankees might pay you to park their cars or pick their fruit, but you'll never be one of them. The American dream doesn't come in our color. Okay. If we're shitting on dreams, what are you going to do if you win, Presidente Garcia? The next president won't last six months before they are assassinated. Wait, what? It's the truth. Won't free elections solve that? What happened to your list? It's a vision, Danny. But I'm not as naive as you think. This revolution will free Yara, but won't fix it. When we take the capital, Yara will be burning. It will be civil war, factions, warlords, foreign-backed coups. Take your pick. Yarens will be killing Yarens for a generation. Uh-huh. This fight will take the rest of my life. Yara is stuck in a cycle of tyranny and revolution. My job is to show us how to break it. This isn't a dream, is it? You have to do this. What makes you say that? No one would choose this. No, Dani. Everyone who follows me, who joins Libertad, chooses this. But you know, I can really see you stocking shelves in one of those giant Yankee supermarkets. <laughs> Fuck you. No, no, no. I just think you'd look good in a little uniform, name tag, maybe a fancy apron. <sighs> Leave me out of your fantasies, Clara. Bienvenidos a mi casa. My favorite guerrillas. I missed my island. Tonight we celebrate. I'm sorry, Hefa. What's wrong? Julio never checked in. Libertad will kill you fucking through your eyes! Traidors! Criminales! Puta! Mio, the difference between a true yarn and a fake yarn, it can be hard to see, but it's there. A true yarn understands that loyalty to country is key to his survival. Not justice, not love. Not even family. Loyalty to a vision that looks beyond themselves. Come mierda. Fake yarns love to be the outcasts. They are addicted to their selfish perversions. Chaos. Lies. Like wild dogs. But dogs can be broken. They can serve paradise. And if a dog refuses to break like Julio here, like Clara Garcia, like Libertad, then we must put them down. Papa, you've proved your point. Put Julio down. This is a difficult step to paradise, Mio, I understand. But when you achieve our vision, I promise you, there will be no more steps. I'm coming, Lita. Fine. Then, enjoy the show. <laughs>
Julio checked in. Proof of death. Join your friend Lita in a suite hereafter. I keep my promises, Danny. You wanted a boat, you got a boat. It's a beautiful piece of shit, but it'll get you to a Yankee beach. One with the naked fatties. You two are just gonna let me leave? Bullshit. You could have sold us out a long time ago. You're my best, Kiria. I can't promise you victory, I can't even promise you survival. What I can promise you is this. You are the lucky one. That usually work? 50-50. Hell of an office, Juan. I think of myself as a second hand killer. In Afghanistan, I smoked a cigar made of pony shit. Left my voice a little hoarse. One does it again. Ah, my favorite guerrilla. I wish I had some depleted uranium rum. Ah, Juan, you're an asshole. All right, let's... Want me to make you the best Supremos and Resolver weapons? You need depleted uranium. Lucky for you, Castillo has stashed his supply with the biggest guns on the island, his anti-aircraft cannons. When you got some of that sweet uranium, you can bring it back to my office or to one of my associates. If you capture an FND base, a member of Team Juan will move in and give you access to my inventory. And don't forget, rank has its privileges. When Clara is kind enough to promote you, we'll be able to hook you up with better gear. Just have those pesos ready. Even in revolution, nothing comes free. And here's some advice, guerrilla to guerrilla. Have some fun for fuck's sake. Die with a smile on your face. You'll be back. They always come back. Juan, where did you learn to do all this? I suckled at the teeth of defeat and despair until I learned to pray to the goddess of rum and firepower. She and...
Certainly in kind. See, si. sure. That makes sense. Once you're back at Santuario, shake the trees for guns, ammo, new believers. Cassio was surprised. Let's keep it that way. Welcome to Libertad, Danny. I can leave any time. What's the rush? Inspiring. Let's free Yara, shall we? Castile controls all of Yara with soldados, slaves, and blood. The capital is a stronghold. We take Esperanza, we free Yara. Best chance we got to weaken Castillo is to hit military targets like FND bases and checkpoints. But most important, we have to surround Esperanza and trap Castillo in his cage. That means targeted operations that will unite the revolution and make Libertad stronger. To do that, I need you to recruit three groups in Yara to fight with Libertad. Each is waging war across Yara with a different piece of Castillo's empire, all controlled by his inner circle. In El Este, foreign invaders like Mickey Industries suck our resources dry, and Admiral Benitez defends Castillo's poison lifeline. But the old legends of 67 can help us turn the tide. They're hiding in the jungles of the highest mountains of Yara. Their greatest guerrilla, El Tigre, is waiting with open arms to help you bring them on our side. Then we have Valle de Oro. Not just the engine of Castillo's Viviro operation, but also his propaganda machine, run by his Minister of Culture, Maria Marquesa. But I have some old friends who can run our counter-propaganda campaign, Maximas Matanzas. They were the voice of the protests and can mobilize Yara's dissidents to fight for Libertad. They've gone dark. Last seen at a fort in Balaceras. We need to find them before Castillo's forces do. In Madrugada, we have Castillo's nephew, Jose, a slave driver who forces outcasts to grow that poison Viviro tobacco. But the Montero family is waging war against Jose. They hate visitors, but I have intel on a mechanic who has a workshop in Costa del Mar. His name is Fili Barsaga, and he's their gatekeeper. If I were you, Danny, I'd start in Madrugada. We take back that tobacco with the Montero's help, and we got Castillo's Viviro at the source. You just need to find this mechanic, Fili. I'll be here actioning targeted Libertad strikes against Castillo throughout Yara. Hang on. I'm gonna get all these groups to sign up for Libertad by myself? How? Simple. You help. Any way you can. I send a squad to these groups, I'm an invader. I send a scout, then I'm not serious. With you, they get my best career without politics and bullshit. Just help. Libertad takes the capital, we slit Anton's throat, maybe drink his blood, etc., etc. Then he needs a walk. Viva Libertad, Jefa. Yeah, yeah. I'm not Clara's best guerrilla, you are. You're not listening. Translate, Juan. The accent. Clara hides it best she can, but she was born rich from a family of true Yaran she left behind. She can shoot, bleed, drink with us all she wants, but she can't hide the stink of the upper class. What's that have to do with me? You are an orphan, Danny. Poor, from the dirt. When they see you, they don't see politics. They see they have no excuse. She's using me. 
See? And you're using her right back. Do you want to kill Anton? See? You want to free Yara? Sure you do. But here's what Clara can't say, but you and I both know. You want this. You're a guerrilla. And for a guerrilla, the shit my pants rush of an ambush, the smell of sulfur burning your nostrils, it's... It's... It's fun. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me.